In this portion of our video guide on how to set up an IP camera system over a network, we're going to make sure that our recorder is actually set to an IP address that can communicate on our network. So first we're going to right click, go to main menu, this prompts us to log into our DVR, so we're going to enter our graphical password. Now we've entered the main menu of the admin user on our NVR. Now we're going to go here, down here to the bottom section called setting into the network settings. And it should bring up the TCP slash IP section automatically. If it doesn't, then you're going to want to make sure you select this. If you have an older NVR or an NVR with older firmware, then you may encounter a screen that looks like this. The process is the same for changing the IP address, and you'll want to make sure that you follow the rest of the tips in the video, even though your user interface looks slightly different. As you can see here, we have our NVR. It's fresh out of the box, so it has a 192.168.1.108 address. Now keep in mind, this address cannot be the same as any of your other cameras or any of the existing devices on your network, say if you have any smart TVs or any cell phones that you know um, are already set to this IP address or if you have any other devices that you know are set to an IP address near here, you're going to want to make sure that this has its own unique IP address that is separate from any other device on your network. So for our example, we know that we've already freed up the 80 IP address on our subnet here, the 192.168.1. whatever, or you know, X, any number between 1 and 254 for the 80 number, we are going to set it to 80. The subnet mask, you can leave it as the same here, 255.255.255.0. This will work for most networks. And then your default gateway, you're going to want to make sure that this matches whatever your internet router is. In our case, it is 192.168.1.1. And it's generally going to be the dot .1 on whatever your first three numbers are. And it's not always this case, though, and you will have to reach out to your internet service provider to find out what you should put here if it is not the default 192.168.1.1. We're going to make sure we click OK to save our changes and then go down here to the bottom right to apply our changes and then click OK to double check and make sure that those changes are saved. To make sure that our changes saved we're going to go down here to setting and then network again click on here automatically brought us to the same page and we can see that our Ethernet port 1 is now configured to 192.168.1.80. Thank you for watching.